Good day, everyone. Good to be back with you for yet another Daily Shave. Hope you've all had a blessed week. Today, I bring to you Noble Otter's Jungle Warrior. And this is probably the third or fourth Noble Otter review that I've done on the West Coast Shaving Daily Shave channel. I'm always excited to review this product just because of its stellar performance. And you folks know how I feel about their presentation, which is very important to me. But as I bring this label closer, you can ho hopefully you can see it. I'm hoping this will focus the way that I want it to. But right here, right around this Jungle Warrior, you see this nice ring with these lines through there. That is the Australian Private Reserve Gold Insignia. It's very well done. It's very appealing to the eye when you can see it up close. As I'm looking at it, I'm getting the full effect. But this is actually a collaboration between the two entities. Australian Private Reserve and Noble Otter have a few things in common and that they do put a lot of TLC into their composition. They are very big on presentation, but they are on opposite sides of the world. So Noble Otter created by Cody Wick is right here in the United States domestically. You've got Australian Private Reserve that is out as on in Australia, conceived in 2016, and they've got a pretty unique mission. If you go to their website, I encourage you to do that. Check out their mission, check out their development, check out the things that they have to offer there. They do offer their products also through West Coast Shaving on the domestic side of things here in the United States of America. So it's worth looking at them. They have really pristine logos, really pristine presentation. From what I've heard, really good performance in their products. I've not yet tried Australian Private Reserve, then I'll tell you how this all mixes together when I get into the details of the soap and the collaboration in general. But um, when you go to their site, they talk a lot about their mission. And again, conceived in 2016, they don't really like synthetic blends and all of their composition is done in-house. So they create all of the components which come together to make their fragrances. So that was really kind of their, their premise. That was their inception. They were big on perfumes. They wanted to translate that perfuming technology and that perfuming technique that they have into wet shaving products for male individuals. And so that's their mission. You kind of goes on deeper into their, their ideology, their mission, kind of how they came together, but that's it in a nutshell. And again, they are based, based out of Australia and they do offer products here through West Coast Shaving domestically. So good to check them out. This is a nice collaboration because they are a perfuming company by nature, by virtue of who they are. And what's nice about this is this is a fougere type of scent. But what I really like about this scent is that it's more of a, it's a fougere. You do get that element of earthiness in here, but it's a very fresh and fragrant fougere. It's almost like you blended uh, an aquatic fougere together, almost like a very clean, salty air scented aquatic fusion in with earthiness and you get this really really nice fusion it's really what it comes down to um, i enjoy it um, i like fresh clean scents i do like earthy scents but i like them more when they're subdued not when they're so pronounced and this soap accomplishes that so when i got this in the mail last week i was expecting something entirely different than what i received and i was pleasantly surprised i messaged cody and told him how excited i was about this so as I read it, as Noble Otter announced it through their website, through Facebook, they basically indicated that Australian Private Reserve did the fragrance on this. So that's what makes this so special is they did, they're the perfumer, they did the fragrance portion of this. Cody worked his magic. He fused that fragrance in with his soap formulation and here's what you have. So this is Jungle Warrior. This is a special limited edition. Um, and I know sometimes that creates some friction in the community when we review a soap that's really limited, difficult to get your hands on. But it is out there. There might still some, be some available. It's worth checking out. Um, I picked it up right away, but it's worth looking at. And sometimes, you know, an artisan can't help that. A retailer can't help that. If there's some popularity, if there's a limited nature to the product offering, sometimes it just goes and it's really nobody's fault. I mean, they make as much as they can. Um, some artisans are full-time, some artisans are hobbyists, and it's just a balanced, difficult one to strike. So, that's the information on the soap. I've already got it loaded. I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. Another nice product I'm featuring today is this 34G. So this is my absolute favorite razor all time, the 34C, but what makes this one unique is it's gold plated, very elegant looking, same exact razor, same exact performance, just with the gold plating. And I have a lot of growth today. I've been loving this combination between this razor and the feather blade, so I'm gonna put that on there today. That's made for a very, very smooth and comfortable shave. So a little apprehensive with that because the feather blade is known for its sharpness. There's a lot of folks that have adverse reactions to the blade and it does have a tendency to cut very easily. But this combination has just been out of this world for me. 
This razor, I call it the magical razor, but it is exactly that. It's a very magical razor. It's a very magical combination and it really makes for a smooth shave and you can really do anything with the blade, whether it's aggressive, whether it's moderate, whether it's mild, you can put anything in there and it'll be a winning combination. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. Already got the brush loaded. Now, if you were able to make it through that monologue, you'll notice I didn't say a whole lot about Noble Otter and Cody Wick. And that's because, again, this is about the third or fourth review I've done of Noble Otter. And if you go back to my Two Kings video, I get into all the information about Noble Otter and their operation and kind of how they've come together. And so you can kind of get those details. As you folks know, I don't like to be redundant in the videos and kind of go over the same things over and over again. But Cody is right now one of my favorite artisans just because of how he puts everything together. But this scent is absolutely amazing. It can be an everyday driver or it can be a scent that you can use for special occasions. But it's got that nice quality at the end of the scent that just makes it fragrant. It smells like you opened up a bottle of cologne and sprayed it on yourself. Um, it has that type of a quality to it. So today also featuring, I don't think I've ever featured this in a video. This is my Luton brush. Good friend of mine, Ian Ryan. He's a brush maker in the community and also a, a member of the community, has been for quite a while. He kind of, you know, in a community full of artisans that are so creative and do magical things with those creations, it's really hard to stand out and come up with something unique. And this is what Ian's decided to do. He uh, basically harvests this type of wood. Now the wood's already there. I don't know where he sources it from, uh, but he gets all the different types of woods that he can get his hands on, especially exquisite types of woods. Um, turns them, puts them into these nice shapes, goes into this electrocution process. And this is really his claim to fame. This is his niche. This is what he does that sets him apart. Very creative. I uh, was really proud of Ian when he came out with this, just because like I said, there's so many different designs and there's a lot of people that are replicating designs that have already been done by other artisans or kind of putting their own spin on it. And it's really, really difficult to come up with something on your own. And he really did. And this is really unique. Uh, the lacquering job he does, the finish he puts on this, and then he kind of burns his insignia on the bottom. There you see Luton Brushworks. He really sources one type of knot. It's a 25 millimeter fan knot uh, badger. I absolutely love it. It's a great performer. So I'm gonna use this today, but I don't think I've ever featured this brush in a video before. Uh, and I'm excited for Ian being a personal friend of mine who I talk to on a daily basis. And uh, he's one of, of, of a handful of guys that I'm very close with in the community. Uh, but it was really great for us that are friends of his to see him kind of come up with this creation. It's really taken off. I know he's busy all the time. He's constantly getting requests from people to make brushes for, for them. And uh, he's doing an awesome job. And this is just one design. This is the one that he had that I really wanted. But there's a lot of other designs he makes that are quite unique. So you can go to his Facebook page, Luton Brushworks. Um, you can go to his website and see the many different designs that he has on there. All kinds of different designs, all kinds of different woods. But this electrocution process, which is unique to him, he's actually shown a video of how he does it. It seems like it's very dangerous work and not anything I think anybody should uh, delve into unless you really know what you're doing. Uh, but he does it well, and this is his uh, this is his mark. This is the mark he's made in the wet shaving community. So, kudos to Ian. I'll go ahead and get this done. So this soap base is tallow fused. I like it. It's easy to work with. Now I've got a lot of growth, which is gonna make for some more friction against the lather, which is gonna cause it to form a little bit easier. So I'm really just gonna paint this on there and then work the water in. And again, this is a 25 millimeter fan badger knot. It's kind of interesting because whenever you get a new brush, especially an animal hair brush, whether it's boar, but specifically badger, it almost looks very thin and pointy when you get it after it's been sourced, after it's been tied and gets sent to the artisan to be placed into the handle. And that's the way this knot looked when I first got it. But once I first, once I used it and got soap in it and you know went through the swirling process on my face, the bloom that these brushes get is phenomenal. And there's nothing quite like that mushroom bloom that you get from a badger knot. There's nothing that rivals it. 
There's nothing like that softness that you get from a badger knot. It's probably one of the more elegant experiences of wet shaving. And I know Ian's a big fan of badger, and so he just sources that one knot, which is cool with me because I'm just, these days, that's pretty much all I do is badger. When I travel, because I do travel a lot for work, I obviously take synthetic because it doesn't uh, grow mildew. Uh, it dries a lot faster. It's just a better traveling bush than animal hair is. But when I'm home, when I'm local, badger is my go-to. This scent is a winner. So Australian Private Reserve, kudos to you folks for coming up with this very perfumed fragrance. This is probably, and I'm a big fan of Fougere, but Fougere can, can definitely be tampered with and messed up. Um, I've smelt Fougeres in the past that really weren't that appealing, weren't that pleasing to the nose. Fougere, because it's earthy by nature, just like vetiver, those to me are the more difficult fragrance notes to deal with. How do you subdue it? Um, you know, I've heard some comments, for example, in past videos I've done with Fine about how their fougeres, or not fougeres, but their vetivers don't really smell like vetivers. And to me, I get the vetiver in their base, but I like what they do with the vetiver. They, they basically use it. It's a component of the fragrance but it's not designed to smell earthy. It's designed to smell more fragrant and to smell more like a cologne, to smell more like a fragrance that you want on yourself all day long. So that's what I get from that. So for me, I, I don't want to smell, there's some scents that are just kind of nice, but I don't want to smell like the earth all day. I want to smell like something fragrant. I'm a business guy. Uh, when I'm around the wife, you know, I want to have something that's appealing, something that's easy to sniff, something that's easy to take in. Not too strong, but something pleasing. But that's just me. Everyone's got their taste. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this. And I know that I can take a pass or two off with that feather blade. This is crazy good. Scent is great. And I love having a nice pleasing scent going up my nose as I'm shaving. Thirty four G feather blade that's probably on its second or third shave. Now I've got a substantial amount of growth. And this is just slicing right through it. But as I'm rinsing it off, there's hair everywhere. I am loving this combination of razor and blade. Very slick soap, good glide, very cushiony. And the scent is just great. Since I've smelled this, this is probably my second favorite fougere right now. There's some good ones out there. Fantastic.
good first pass. Let's go down to two. Might be able to get away with two. So I hope that provides you a good background. Uh, when you go through Noble Otter's line, they've just got, they've got very clever titles, very creative labels. And I encourage you because Australian Private Reserve, although they just did the fragrance on this soap, they also make their own soaps. They make EDPs and they also make shaving soaps and aftershave splashes. Same thing with Noble Otter, EDPs, bar soaps, splashes, shave soaps. Very thematic and very creative. And that's the cool thing that I like about this is I like artisans that kind of delve in. Noble Otter, um, I had to read up about it to see it. And again, go back to the Two Kings video I did to reference kind of the background on Cody Wick and his operation. But it's pretty neat to see what people come up with, how names are concocted and conceived. A lot of artisans over the years, I've listened to their stories about how they created their brand and how they came up with the names and it's pretty creative. Some of it's just clever, some of it's tear jerking, some of it's, you know, all kinds of different things. Now, when there's a gold version of your favorite razor out there, now I wouldn't have bought this for myself. All these years that it's been around, I haven't made the purchase. But lately, the gift that keeps on giving is Amazon gift cards. And I got a few for my birthday. And this is a razor I've wanted for quite some time. And because it's a replica of my favorite razor, just in the gold plating, it's a nice to have, but when someone gives you a gift card, it's a nice reason to pick this up. So I did it. Normally, if it's my own money or I'll pick up something new, but I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, I've wanted this razor for a while. I just got to get it. And so you guys know, I am in my bathroom. It is really hot up here. I don't know why. Uh, it's late October. Oh, thank you, wife. The wife's opening the window for me. Sweating your butt off in your video. <laughs> You're sweating your butt off in your video. Um, I showered some hours ago, so I didn't shower again before the video, but it's just hot up here. We're upstairs. And uh, that's a good wife, one that'll open the window when you're sweating, so. We have the big door open, the fan going, but it just gets hot. Like I said, it's late October here, but that cool weather just really kind of comes in at night, but hasn't really kicked in yet the way that I like it to. My body runs hot just by nature. I've been that way since I was a kid, and um, so I sweat easily. But upstairs, heat's rising, windows closed. Now I'm getting that draft. Now this video is gonna come together at the end. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead, final pass. I got a lot with those two passes that I did with that blade and razor combination. I'm in good shape. That mows it down a lot quicker. If you haven't tried the 34 series from Mercur, it's really the C, which is the HD, the heavy duty, or the G. I've featured it in a lot of videos. I sing its praises, but it is a magical razor. And I've noticed the price has kind of gone back up on this a little bit. Maybe Mercur's figured out that this is very popular. And don't get wrapped up that this is a beginner. It's really not, it's a razor. And it's just, it's a very comfortable razor. And if you watch from, if you're from back in the day, like I was some of those old original YouTubers, this razor was featured even back then. And this was a favorite amongst a lot of your prominent people in the community, it still is. Now, I'm not prominent, but I love it. Awesome razor. So Fougere, I like when I hear that it's coming out. I like the possibilities behind Fougere. And this soap, 
is nothing short of delivering on those great possibilities of everything that it could be, this delivers. And like I said, I had just gotten back from a business trip. This package was sitting in the house. My wife had picked it up off the uh, doorstep for me. And when I opened it up, again, I was expecting it's gonna be a little bit earthy. I may or may not like this, let's figure this out. I like the label, I opened it up and oh my gosh, the freshness, it's just a beautiful integration of all these fragrances. And again, if it's out there, pick it up, you'll like it. If you're a Fougere lover, if you're a lover of fresh, clean, salty air, aquatic, earthy fusion, that's what I get out of this. You get all those notes and it's just a fantastic blend. Now I got it because I'm a Noble Otter fan. And when I found out they were doing a Fougere, I was like, sign me up, I'm gonna get it. But I have to confess that until like yesterday, I didn't know Australian Private Reserve was collaborating on this. So I was looking at the label, I was like, wait a minute, what's that? Is that AP? I know that, I know that label, I know that insignia. And that's what it is. So this fragrance is just out of this world. And that's the cool part. If you get to know some of these artisans and you get to know some of their backgrounds, there's a few I won't mention because I don't know if they want that type of publicity or attention, but I can tell you that there are some that have a fragrance perfuming background. That's what they did. That's what their, their niche was. That's what they did for a living or they did it for another company. Um, so it's kind of interesting to look at some of these guys and look at their backgrounds and see where they came from and you know they get passionate about what they do and they kind of go off on their own and use their creativity for their own purposes. And this is no exception. Uh, Cody, um, I'm gonna give Cody a little bit of attention that he doesn't want. So Cody and I have become kind of buddies this past year and um, Cody, I, I love, as a guy, he's a great dude. I love his personality. I love his attitude. I love his creativity, his mindset. He does have one little flaw though. He is an Astros fan. And me being the Yankee fan that I am, just getting eliminated by the Astros, I've got an ax to grind there. And Cody was just in the wrong place at the wrong time when that happened. And so, uh, Cody and I have been ribbing each other the last few days, but it's all in good fun. And um, I just had to point that out in the video. I just felt compelled to mention that inconvenient fact about Cody. So most of you that watch these videos are probably Yankee fans because it's just the right thing to do. But if you're not, there's Cody. On the plus column though, he makes one of my favorite cell faces right now. So kudos to you, Cody. All right, that was two and a half passes. Not bad, 23 minutes and we're done. I've just come to the realization that it's near impossible for me to get a video below 20 minutes just because I love to go into depth about a lot of this stuff and I could probably work on condensing that and you know, putting out shorter sentences or a more streamlined description of things, but I don't know. When this came out and I was looking at everything that went into it, you know, you've got two great artisans like that that come together for this type of a collaboration and project. It deserves more pontification than I would normally put out there, but I have put on pontif pontification longer than 23 minutes. So you've all been saved. All right. Now there is a matching splash and it's every bit as beautiful as far as presentation goes. And you know how I feel about this. He, Cody makes phenomenal splash. So, I'm excited to use that. I'll put a little bit more. Now, again, it's evening. I gotta wake up early, get on a conference call, and fly out of here for another business trip. But I'm gonna go to sleep smelling better than most of America tonight. I think I'm gonna wake up and just splash this on. Well, after I shower, I'm gonna splash this on my face. Oh, stuff smells so good. Again, folks, I don't know if I did the description justice, but just get your nose on this. You're gonna like it. So that's it, folks. I always, or as always, I feel so blessed that I'm able to do this. Uh, this is a privilege for me. It's a blessing for me. 
uh, to be able to just go on and on for 24 minutes about something that I absolutely love. So thank you, West Coast Shaving, again, for the opportunity to do this. Thank all of you that tune in uh, to all of us shavers that go out there and just talk about our passion. We love doing this. And here it is, folks. If it's still available, well, let me get it in the screen there. Again, new phone. Sorry about that. Jungle Warrior. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Check it out. All right, folks. God bless you all. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time.